Welcome to this week's video and today I'm up in Kent I'm visiting some friends and I bought my gravel bike with me and I'm gonna do a route that was automatically generated on the Garmin website. First time trying this so let's see how this turns out. This is quite a tasty climb. I hope this is taking me to the top of the downs. A bit too early in the ride to have a climb like this. I'm too warm already. So that was the road climb up to Holly Hill I've just done. Well, I think I've done. Looks like there's a bit more to do. Looks like it's leveled off. Must be at the top. So the weather today is mild, I would say. It's not hot. As a lot of people know, Kent is probably the warmest county in the UK. It's usually a couple of degrees warmer than Sussex. So it's probably about 19, 20 degrees now. But it feels very pleasant. Low winds as well, so this is a good day for riding for sure. Kent, the Garden of England. Still riding on the road, I'm in a little place called Vigo. On top of the North Downs in Kent, I'm guessing this gets some pretty nasty weather sometimes. Crossroads, I'm gonna go left, see where it takes me. Uh, this looks like a much busier road. Behind me is a sign for Mepham. Don't really know where I am. I've gone wrong, I shouldn't be on this road after all that. This is much better. I was just about to get critical of the route it had given me and uh, it was actually my fault I'd gone the wrong way. When I turned in I saw a sign here, I'm on the North Downs Way and it's tarmac-ish. And any descent that's got to put steps in it is pretty steep and that was pretty steep you definitely hear a very noisy road near me back on the north downs way I don't know how long I've been on it for. I've probably been on it since I took that wrong turn, actually. And I guess that motorway's the M20. It's telling me to turn right, I think. That's a no entry. Well, that's where the route is telling me to go. That's first little black mark against this route. This section's really nice for a gravel bike. It's not too technical, it's not too steep. It's just about perfect. Still the North Downs way. Well, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this route so far. First time using Garmin Connect to create a route. I put in gravel, unpaved road. And yeah, I've been pretty happy with it. Bit of a tricky descent earlier. Otherwise, it stuck me to country roads and very passable and rideable bridleways. I sensed I had a climb coming up, but it seems I don't. Very odd. Seems to be a lot of hills in front of me. Yeah, it's telling me I'm gonna be going down. There is no descent, only a climb. I 
can't talk. See you at the top. That was tough. I like to leave my lowest gear in reserve. Psychologically, helps me on those tough climbs. Misjudged it, I was already in it. Right at the bottom. So I had nowhere to go. Just noticed this after all the uh, bumpy descents I've done today. A lot of play in my headset. Not good. And you probably can't make that out, but in the distance, that is the skyline of London. Once again, daydreaming and thinking, oh, this is a really nice ride. I'm really enjoying this. I miss my turning. I've no idea where it is. I didn't notice the turning, but uh, Route's been pretty good so far. Oh dear. Garmin, you failed me. You've done so well to this point. That is a public footpath. I'm a law-abiding citizen. But I do need to get home, so I'm going to have to uh, go this way and get off my bike if I see anyone walking. went wrong again and once again I should have turned here public footpath that's twice now it's a bit annoying let's hope it's rideable and there's no one around this is one of the problems when you use one of these um, sort of automatic route planners like connect Garmin connect or Kamut if it sends you up a footpath or a route that you can't get through and you're not local you're kind of a bit stuffed you have to follow the route really, or else I'm going to be getting my phone out and Google Maps and just taking a road route all the way back, which won't be much fun. <sighs> the other rubbish thing about footpaths is, apart from the fact you shouldn't cycle them anyway, is they're often really crap to cycle. Like this one. I've got the Goodyear blimp circling me. Yeah, I've just seen that sign now. Uh, that's made my mind up. You started so well, Garmin Connect. You're now dragging this ride down. Footpaths are not gravel or unpaved routes. You need to update your algorithm. Okay, I think I owe Garmin a small apology. The route wasn't through the field with the ball. Actually, the road was the correct turning. I'm on a pretty tough climb here. It goes on for a while, I can see. I'm heading towards West Kingston. There's a story behind that place when I get there. Now, I stand corrected in the comments, please do, because this is not something I Googled, it's off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure West Kingston is where Kenneth Noy used to live, a career criminal. 
and where he killed that policeman in his garden. And I've never been here before and I'm not sure I'm here now or not. But the Goodyear blimp keeps following me and I've got to turn right. And I'm wondering why the Goodyear blimp is up. Am I close to Brands Hatch here? Really stretching my Kent geography knowledge here now. Stansted, Rootham and Borough Green are that way, Ridley Ash, Fair Seat and Trosley that way. Oh, I've no idea where I am really. <laughs> I'm in Kent. I'm getting towards the end of the ride now, less than 10k to go. That was seriously steep. Got about 5k left. This ride's felt tough, you know. I think when I planned it, it said I had just under 700 meters of climbing, but it's felt much tougher than that. I don't know what it is psychologically when you don't know what climbs are coming up, how tough it is, what the terrain's like. You're kind of, you're not prepared for it. If I did this sort of length of ride local, it'd be absolutely fine. So be interested to see if that figure's accurate. Connects automatic route creator. Whole thing probably took me about 30 seconds to create the route and put it onto my Garmin. And it's been pretty good with some very notable exceptions to that. Mainly footpaths. Come on. How many times did I get pushed down a footpath? Too many, I think. But if you're going to an area you don't know and you don't have the maps, this is a really quick and easy way to get a route up. But if you want to make sure you don't have any nasty surprises, then you really need to get the map and plan it properly, which will take longer. If you want to follow the route, I'll put my Strava link in the description. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and comment. What's your experience of Garmin Connect or automatic route planning? Is it the future? Do we need maps anymore? Until next week, I'll see you on the next one.